Hi, I'm Zane, and you're watching Ten of Cups Tarot, the place where you'll find some of the most immersive, spot-on readings in all of the internet, and this is coming from a longtime subscriber of almost two years. Ten of Cups Tarot uploads new content weekly, and you won't want to miss out. Stay tuned! Hello, my Aries friends. Welcome to week two, your energetic check-in for the week. Anything you need to know about this reading is in the description below. Um, if you need a private reading, please head on over to Wizio, W-I-S-I-O dot com. Uh, there is in the description in the description a, um, a code for 10% off. If you're interested in getting a discount on one of my readings, please take that code with you. It's valid until the middle of February. All right, so um, if you would like to support this channel, whether you're a member or not, please hit the like button on one of my videos. Um, if you want to be a member here, please uh, do hit the subscribe button. I would love to have uh, this group here grow. All right, so here we go. We're going to do a nine card draw this time. Uh, Aries, we are doing Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So if you, uh, this sun sign, uh, if this you're watching for your sun sign and it does not resonate, please check your moon and your rising. All right, I'm just going to cut these. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Here we go. We need nine cards, please, for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Hmm. All right. So we're starting out with the Five of Wands. Uh, inner turmoil. Trying to figure something out. Should you? Shouldn't you? Um, this is a new path in passion. It also is about good news. So um, the, uh, you know, pretty happy going on your way. Um, I think you make a decision here somehow. The High Priestess, you may have gone in with, um, you know, meditation, manifestation, and just figured the thing out that you were trying to figure out. What else do we have for you here, Aries? I will go back over these and read them here. I just want to get them out. There we go. We have the Seven of Cups. Opportunity. Could be overwhelming opportunity, but opportunity nonetheless. And then we have closing a cycle, the world. And that is actually what is in the center of the reading, which is interesting. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles, starting to plant the seeds of intention on something new. Something new, wanting to plant the seeds of intention. Um, harvest is coming. Oh, the lovers. There you go. The lovers, remember that's Major Arcana, so is the World card. And these are not things that you can skirt around. You must go through these. They are put in your way um, to keep you on your divine path. And then we have the Devil. The Devil is also Major Arcana. And then we have the King of Wands. Nope, the Knight of Wands. I always mix that one up. Bottom of the deck, we're looking at the Nine of Wands. So I think you've been through a few things here. Coming into 2021, I think you've been through a few things. I mean, who hasn't, right? Who has not been through a few things in 2020? Um, but I feel as though there's some arguments going on where you are, Aries. I feel like there's some arguments. There is some... Um, I feel like you're trying to make a decision about something, something that's going to bring on your happiness and maybe a different path and passion. I feel like you are connecting with spirit to try and get that answer, or that you might be connecting with someone who is a card reader, um, a psychic, someone, uh, a psychologist, someone who can give you some answers um, based in either uh, the spiritual world or the 3D world. I feel like you uh, have been having a hard time with whatever it is that you're doing. I don't know if it's work or relationship or friendship, maybe children, but I feel like you're feeling attacked. I feel as though you want to put down, um, you know, the passionate actions that have been taken taken against you. I feel like I feel like people are arguing with you or telling you that the decisions you're making are not good decisions. I think they're trying to talk you out of something. You feel sort of up against the wall, like people are pushing you up against the wall and saying, hey, listen here, you've got to do this. And I think that in the past, you may have taken that. You may have um, just let them speak their minds, but I don't know that you're going to do that this time around. Um, I feel like you have been in this Hmm, the word I heard was rut. I'm sorry. You've been in this rut for a while. Um, and it is 
um, there's only one thing that can help you out, and that's understanding of who you are and what you need, and, and if you're brave enough to go out and grab the things that you want. So I feel like when you feel brave enough to grab the thing that you want, we have the Seven of Cups here. And the Seven of Cups is about, um, you know, having a lot of opportunities, emotional opportunities. Now, I see them as emotional opportunities, but I also see them as, um, um, you know, it is very emotional picking one of the seven, right? It's it's kind of an emotional experience. You don't want to make a mistake. But I feel like you um, have made a decision or are going to make a decision about moving along in life. Um, and if that means that other people are going to be upset with you because you've left a relationship or left a home or whatever it is, you're willing to take that. Um, but, you know, you're the, you're the guy or the girl that's used to, to being attacked for things that, um, for things that you believe, things that you, um, things that you think, things that you want to do. Feel feel like you're in some sort of a situation now that you want to bring to an end. Could be a situation or a relationship. I feel more like it's a situation. I feel like that after, you know, seeing people's true colors, and I mean, in 2020, we all saw people's true colors, right? Um, I feel like after you see people's true colors, that there are some relationships that you want to end. Um, this world card could be about situations and relationships. Um, I feel like the cycles are ending with, with these people or situations, and you don't really have anything left to say. So I think you're going to shut down whatever it is that has been... Um, that has been bringing the five of wands energy, which is lack, right? It's not, it's not being able to make a decision, kind of blaming things on yourself, wanting to make a decision and not really knowing if you should or you should not. Um, I feel like you're, uh, you don't, you no longer want to be in indecision. So the Seven of Pentacles is telling me that you've decided that what you rather do is, you know, plant the seeds of intention for something new. I feel like this is in the center here. Um, because you have been planting the seeds of intention for a little bit, um, but you just haven't uh, really nurtured or tried to grow or water that, that you know, those pentacles that you've uh, stuffed in the earth. I, I don't think anybody's known, nobody knew that you did that, that you're planting the seeds of intention with other people for other things, maybe other jobs, because you're kind of on the down low. You don't really speak out those things as you're doing them, but you do... Um, uh, move forward accordingly, right? According to um, whatever it is, whatever that you have planted and would like to grow. I feel like there is some love here. So the lover's card is here. This is intended love by the universe. This is soulmate love. But I don't think your eye is on that right now. Um, I feel like this is future energy here. All of this is future energy. And I feel like you are um, not necessarily having your eye on love right now it would be nice if it happened, but I don't think that's your focus right now. I think your focus is really kind of honing your um, your friend list. Um, I don't mean Facebook friend list, but I think I, the real life friend list. You know, people are there people that you that don't necessarily serve a purpose in your life. You know, the people who you meet and shake hands with at the mall and they say, hey, we should really get together for coffee. And then you never do. Um, then they have a party and they don't invite you. Those kind of people. I think that you're going to get rid of superficial uh, friendships. And then I think that you're going to plant the seeds of intention for really deep friendships, ones that will grow and nurture and um uh, grow roots, right? Um, and then I feel like that is what your focus is right now. But in the future, what I see coming here is that you do have intended love coming your way, that you have been in a relationship that has been okay, um, or that you've been dating and it's been okay, but you haven't found the one yet. Um, the devil energy, though, is is an energy of wanting to get away from something, feeling like you were um, feeling like you were chained to someone, someone was playing you like a puppet. Um, I feel like there was a lot of attraction, uh, you know, um, sexual attraction in a relationship if you were in a relationship or you've been dating and you've been dating a lot of really handsome or pretty people, um, but you haven't yet, you know, put your uh, roots anywhere. And I think that's because you still have a lot of work to do in here. Deciding and picking over friendships, deciding which ones to end. Um, and some of these could be family members as well, not necessarily friendships. I feel though that once you do find this love here, um, that this love is... Um, 
this this isn't only love this is love and desire so um i feel like the person that i'm connecting with is someone who is uh quite desirable and has their eye on someone else that they desire and i feel like with the knight of wands that they really just want to um see that person talk with that person and um the knight of wands tells me that you know they're have an attraction for you or you have an attraction for them right um you can flip this right because it is a general reading if you don't know what a general reading is please look below this may not be your reading um and if it is not matching your sun sign please look uh for um readings that are for your moon and your rising sign maybe your venus and jupiter signs as well um knight of wands is something you know it's 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 a lot of um passionate energy for one night and that passionate energy um, comes in. I feel like um, you get, find someone you're very passionate about, and then um, immediately it looks like there is a, a, an intimate time that uh, you two share uh, pretty close, pretty quickly after you meet. Um, let's go in and, and uh, clarify some of this and find out a little more detail. we go. I just want to cut these. There we go. Okay, so the Five of Wands. Please clarify this Five of Wands, this indecision. Five of Wands, please. Clarify the Five of Wands. Thank you. There we go. We have... Nope, those are upside down. Sorry. <coughs> we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I think that you're... Um you're dealing with someone that's overly emotional. They could be someone who is a Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces, or Cancer. Um, nonetheless, they are overly emotional. There's been arguments. Um, you're wondering whether you want to stay in this environment or not. Um, this... Uh, Queen of Cups, when she's in the reverse, she has no more emotion left for you. She's just um, um, sort of in a, I would say what I'm hearing and seeing is a tail spin. Like, you know, when a dog chases its tail, it's like you can't get that person, whether it's female or male, you can't get them out of that um, that uh, round and round kind of not really getting anything resolved in a conversation or a fight but it's it's she's she or he is always willing to go round and round now um <clears throat> in the reverse um the queen of cups is kind of hard to deal with overly emotional emotional outbursts um you know expecting you to put them first and for you to put yourself on the back burner it's a little bit of um I wouldn't say it's abusive energy, but I would say it's an abusive power is what it is. Um, and they know that they have the power to play on you. So um, we have someone who is being highly emotional. And that puts you in a place of, do I really want to stay in this relationship? Um, this is the uh, Page of Wands in the reverse. And the Page of Wands in the reverse is about, no, it's about not wanting to go anywhere, um, not wanting to stay in the relationship and um, not really moving forward in your life, being in stagnant energy and um, not really learning, not really teaching, like life has kind of stopped because when the Queen of Cups is in the reverse, you know, everything that's going on around you stops because you have to pay attention to that. And I think that's happening more and more. We have the Five of Pentacles. And I think at first when all of this ranting started, I'm going to call it ranting, that's what I just heard. When all of this ranting started, I feel like... Um, the um that you felt left out in the cold you didn't know what to do she she or he made you feel as though you weren't enough that you couldn't control the situation couldn't make them feel better but i think you're coming out of that you've realized that it's not your problem you realize that it's the problem of the person who's throwing the tantrum and that you although things aren't perfect between the two of you that um that there's no reason for them to leave you out in the cold or for you to feel out in the cold at all because there always is some sort of resolution that can be brought if the queen in the reverse really wants the resolution but we don't know if she does or if she doesn't okay so tell me about the page of wands we have the page of wands you going on a new path and passion here um, um I, we got the the uh page of wands in reverse on top of the seven 
seven of wands no five of wands on top of the five of wands and that's because this relationship is going nowhere um there's no passion um there's no teaching there's no learning there's it's just stagnant energy so page of wands please clarify the page of wands thank you the page of wands is clarified by the magician you've been manifesting this move you've been manifesting looking for something that you're passionate for or someone that you're passionate about, um, you really need to find something that um, makes you happy because the happiness is really the most important, right? Yeah, you made a decision, two of swords. You lifted those swords, took off the mask, and decided after not wanting to see it for a very long time that it's time to make that decision. It's time to make the decision and move forward. The High Priestess was helped you with that. Um, you know, the High Priestess is here. High Priestess is here. I feel like you were getting um, your answers from somewhere or someone was helping you get answers, whether that's a, um, a psychologist or a social worker um, or um, uh, a psychiatrist. Maybe it could be someone that you're seeing who is a card reader, of course. It could be someone who's in uh, light works as well. Um, and... Let me clarify that. High Priestess, tell me more about the High Priestess, please. Thank you. King of Swords. Okay, so you are talking to someone about speaking up. Um, and I think you are going to use your... your um, High Priestess energy. Your High Priestess energy is um, is reminding you to stay connected to spirit, right? Because that's where you're going to get your answers. That's where you're going to get your calm, your meditation. Um, but I think that you're willing, you were willing to speak up. I think it's time that um, not only with speaking up, but having someone speak on your behalf. I feel like the King of Swords could be a lawyer. So we could be looking at, you know, a marriage coming to a painful ending here. And... Um, uh, or a serious relationship of some sort. And um, tell me about the Seven of Cups, though, because it looks like you have a lot of opportunities here and that you're going to need to make decisions coming up before you close this chapter. So tell me about uh, the Seven of Cups, please. Clarify that. Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords tells me that um, there's been a lot of talking going on. And I have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like the two of you have been like knocking, knocking heads, not really getting any information out of each other. I feel like I said it. It's like a, you know, Ferris wheel goes, just goes round and round and round for the fun of it. So, um... The Seven of Cups here is clarified by the Queen of Swords because I feel like now, since you have decided where you want to go and that you do want to move forward, you don't want to stay in the stagnant energy, I feel like the Seven of Cups is 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 um, really important to you and that you are um, talking to other people around you saying, hey, I have a lot of opportunities coming up. I don't have anyone to bounce this off of. And I think these are emotional opportunities. And I think that people are going to be blatantly honest with you. You're going to be blatantly honest with them in order to get um, what it is that you need for information, whether that be a professional or a friend or whatever it is. But I feel as though the Seven of Cups is where you go to make a decision about what to do next. I feel like you... Um, know that there is love out there for you and um, I think these seven cups you're going to pick the one that is relationship or love and uh, I think you're going to go on on your merry way I think that you have feelings for someone else and that you had had uh, lingering feelings before but since you've been treated this way I think that you've decided that it's time to just cut that person out and carry on with the new um with the new opportunity after you close the world. So um, close the chapter um, or the cycle, right? New cycle coming. So um, with this um, with this world card, you do learn a karmic lesson. And I think that everything that's gone on in the past, you've, you've learned a lesson and you'll never go back. You'll never do that again. Um, the King of Wands is your energy. And so I feel like after um, you close the chapter and things finish up with what whatever it is what this is here if this is um uh, a marriage that's breaking up or a f you know a family that's not doing well um whatever it is i feel like after this uh cycle closes that you get your footing again and you go back to being the king of wands um you know not necessarily the emperor at this time but the king of wands is a good place to start i feel like you are um 
feeling confident again, feeling like you can get it done, um, feeling like, um, you know, you're good at work, you're good at play, you're, you're good at whatever you do. I feel like your confidence is back and you're back uh, feeling a little... Um, spicy again <laughs> yeah you know the king of the king of wands is someone who's very intelligent um uh you know runs a business someone who is um passionate right they're fun they're passionate and um let's look at one more card here what's going to happen when the world closes when that chapter closes please thank you uh, Eight of Wands. I think that you have someone on your mind and you're going to start messaging that person um, or that person's going to message you because they're going to hear that you're single or you're free and that you're maybe looking for love, right? So um, I feel like the Eight of Wands is not only fast moving energy, passionate energy, but it could be um, texting, right? That you are now telling this person, hey, I'm free. Then we have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're free and that you've walked away emotionally from the last relationship. You just you just couldn't do it anymore. It was just too abusive. Um, you were expected to give up everything and they were expected to just carry on with life. Now, um, you're thinking about planting new seeds here, about something going forward. I think it might be relationship or business-wise. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please. Seven of Pentacles. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the chariot. So yeah, you begin moving a little quicker, a little pep in your step, and you begin to, um, um, you're thinking about someone who lives a distance from you, I think. You need to plant the seeds of intention with that person. Um, you need to get in a vehicle to see them, so they live a little ways away, but not too far. I think that, that you can get to them by car. You don't have to take a plane. Um, but nonetheless, the chariot is about success. You plan on planting the seeds of intention with the intent of having success. So what are some of the things that you've planted, though, I wonder? What are the seeds that you've planted here, Aries? Oops. Take a look here. Just dropped a card. Give me a sec. There we go. We have the Three of Wands. So I feel like... Yep, you want to move forward, you want to get things done, you want to have success, but I also feel as though um, you're going to wait on that just a little bit. You're going to plant these seeds of intention, see if they take, see if you can get any roots growing. And um, right now, I think that you're just trying to heal yourself from uh, from the attacks that you've had. Just, uh, just uh, an FYI, the next card after the bottom of the deck is Nine of Wands is the Fool. So we have you making a decision to move forward, which is good. Um, Tell us about the lovers, though. Who's this about? It could be a Gemini. Um, tell me about the lovers, please. Oh, it's your Empress. Look at that. So, Aries, um, your Empress is 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 the one who is um, is your person. You know. Um, you are the emperor, right? You're the emperor. If you're the emperor, you have father, you have children, you run a business, you know, that kind of thing. You're looking for your empress, someone who can counter you, right? Someone who can keep you in line because it takes a lot to keep you in line. Um, you're a little bit um, spicy and fiery, right? And the empress, I think, is the person who'd be willing to accept the job. So she is the mother of the deck. She would be good with your children if you have children, or maybe she wants to have children with you. Um, the empress is a, a female energy, but just remember, please, that um, we both have... Um, Every person on the earth is carrying divine male and divine feminine energy. So divine masculine, divine feminine. And this could very well be someone who is male who is carrying divine feminine energy. So I feel like this is the person that you are uh, intended for, or that person is intended for you. The Empress is, is she's Taurus, she's Libra, she's very creative. She is someone who um, loves to be a mother. She loves to have children. She is creative and she helps others all the time. She is very charitable and uh, very grounded but very creative so she's you know she creates things she loves to create things beautiful things because Taurus has an eye for beauty and um, the thing is, is the Libra is very talented and creative so um, that is a really good blend of, of uh, uh, personality traits I feel tell me more about the lovers card please tell me more about the lovers and then we have the Knight of Cups. So 
I think that you have been thinking about this person long enough Oh, that maybe you have fallen in love with them. Um, I also feel as though that you kn know this person because I feel like there might be something. This person could be from the past, actually, because there might be something that you need to talk to them about, something that you might need to apologize for. Um, I feel that that you do have feelings for them. Maybe you didn't tell them. Um, maybe you haven't spoken with them in a while. But I feel like with everything that's gone down here and freeing up your time, I feel like you're thinking about this person more. Um, what else do we have for the lovers, please? What else do we have for the lovers? Lovers, we have six of swords. Are you thinking of asking them to move in with you? Um, I feel like there's going to be lots of conversation here. I think that with Six of Swords, um, that you are taking what you've learned and you're moving away from your other relationship looking for another. And um, the Six of Swords, I feel like it's a bunch of conversation that is going to calm your mind and calm your heart. So I think you two have a lot to hash out. I think that you are um, two people that know each other, that knew each other in the past. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So um, the King of Pentacles is about being financially stable, being really good with money, having an eye for detail, uh, being in business. So you could be telling this person, look, I, I now have my own business. Um, I'm you know, the, the person that runs all aspects of it. I'm financially stable and I'm wanting to take care of you as well. Um, the Devil. Tell me about the Devil energy here, please. Tell me about the Devil energy. Devil energy. Thank you. So the three of cups in the reverse, devil energy. I feel like um, you, I feel like you've let go of this relationship. So there's no longer third party to worry about. But I also think that this in reverse tells me that your friends were not in favor of the breakup and that maybe you are a lone wolf. Maybe you're on your own now. Um, and I, I feel as though that, um, with the three of cups in reverse that you're going to tell this person that you're in love with here you're going to tell them that um you're no longer in a relationship because i don't think they understand that i don't think they know that they haven't heard that they haven't seen that online so i think that you have something to talk about with someone else um, what else do we have for the devil, please? I think you're worried about it, though. I think you're scared to move forward, like you have fear, because you you don't think this person wants to hear from you. Um, tell me about the devil card, please. We have justice in the reverse. I'm sorry, justice in the upright. Um, so you just want to make things right. You want to make things right with this person here that you have feelings for. Um, you don't know if they're going to accept who you are now or the way that things went down between you, but between you, but I think you're going to ask, um, for balance and for, you know, you want your justice. You want to be able to uh, move out of that relationship and go toward the person that you love. Um, the devil is Capricorn, by the way, and, um, the justice card is Libra. So we are looking at the three of cups in the reverse and you just want to get your footing after having, um, I, I, I don't feel as though you were cheating or anything like that though Aries because you're very noble and um, I feel as though that you were thinking about someone while you were married and I think that's the third party kind of you know pulling someone else into a third party unknowingly um, but now that you're um, out of this other relationship here I think you're single and there's no more third party and that's why the three of uh, cups has come up in the reverse tell me more about the devil please oh there's the emperor the emperor there you are is scared emperor and the empress right that's your soulmate you're going to get your soulmate and you are terrified yeah because you know that the um the empress is someone to be reckoned with you know she is taurus and libra um you know that she that a lot of people have their eye on on her energy or his energy and you know that um if you don't get in there that it's going to be game over. So I feel like you are terrified to go see um, this Empress, but I think you're going to do it anyway. Um, and because you need to have your balance, even if it's just a conversation to Sam Sorry, you need to have your balance and it, your balance is going to see them and talk to them. What do we have for the Knight of Wands? We have the Nine of Wands. So you got tired. Um, 
you know, exhausted, in fact, with um, going round and round in that last relationship. You no longer have to worry about that. I think that the Knight of Wands here is a, a fun person. And I think this person that you are looking at as a possible mate is someone who is fun as well. Um, the 9 to the 10, you've um, dropped your burdens. You're no longer going to be carrying around anything that wasn't tailor-made for you by the universe. You've decided that it's just going to be fun and passion from here on in. And we leave you at the Two of Wands. At look, Pardon me, looking at the crossroads, right? This is like a good book, Aries. It's like, okay, this is the end of the chapter. Let's go on to the next chapter, right? So this is the reading for you this Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you. I would really love to hear who this uh, resonates with. And uh, if you want to leave me a message down below, that would be awesome. I'm going to go for now, but I will see you next Tuesday. Thank you for clicking here, Aries. Have a good one. Bye-bye.